Imagine you're the most powerful doctor in the province and you use the sweeping powers that have been bestowed upon you to send thousands of your medical colleagues to the poorhouse, unable to care for patients and banished to stay home instead of saving lives from your orders that are contrary to other provinces that are following science that says, hey, you healthcare professionals need to get back to work or said months ago, you know what? Such mandates will do more harm then good, that's still what the reality here is in British Columbia. There are still mandates in place that are forbidding healthy healthcare workers from treating patients. And today I have two who are on the line of possibly being next to general practitioners. You're not going to want to miss what they have to say, but you're also, if you haven't already, going to want to sign my petition at letthemcare.com. It's a petition that should have been put forward by politicians who are standing from rooftops demanding change in these healthcare orders so our healthcare system doesn't crash and burn. But instead, next week, I will be delivering them to such politicians to hope that we see change. And I hope you sign and share that petition to stand with that. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. The longer that British Columbia's public health officer, Dr. Bonnie Henry, continues to mandate that healthcare workers stay home instead of saving lives and works towards possibly doing that to all regulated health cares, more and more people are starting to scratch their head about what science is actually being followed here. In this report, I sit down and interview two general practitioners who are pleading with the public health officer to let them continue to care for patients and who also want to see healthcare workers returned and helping prevent BC's healthcare system from being overwhelmed. You're not going to want to miss this report. But unfortunately, because it gives a voice to marginalize, stigmatize people who would like to continue saving lives, it's probably going to be censored on YouTube and we might get penalized and therefore uh, less able to speak to people like you more conveniently. So let's avoid the censorship altogether so you get the full story and you get to hear from these general practitioners in BC. You can click on the link in the description below. That will take you to the full uncensored report at rebelnews.com. I'm Drea Humphrey, and I'll see you when you get there.